Hi there. My name is Little Red Riding Hood, and I want to share with you a story about a very memorable trip I had to Grandma's house. Let me read it to you from my diary. One day, my mother asked me to take a basket of goodies to my grandma, who lived on the other side of the forest. As I was getting ready to head out, my mother warned me. Make sure you stay on the path and don't talk to strangers. The woods are a dangerous place. Heeding her warning, I put on my red hooded cape and set off on my journey. I was so excited to see grandma. As I was walking through the woods, I met a wolf who seemed friendly. Hello, little girl. The wolf said. Where are you going? I'm going to visit my grandma, I replied. How lovely, said the wolf. May I ask where your grandma lives? I hesitated for a moment, but the wolf seemed so friendly that I eventually told him. Well, what a kind and thoughtful girl you are. The wolf said, Would you like some company? I know a beautiful spot in the forest where we can pick some flowers for your grandmother. She would love that, wouldn't she? Hmm. I guess I do have time for a quick stop, I thought to myself. It would be nice to get Grandma some of her favorite purple flowers, if there were any, and so I agreed. We walked for a while and soon came across a clearing filled with beautiful wildflowers. There were white flowers, orange flowers, yellow flowers, and sure enough, Grandma's favorite purple flowers. She's going to love these. As I was almost done picking the flowers, I looked up and realized that the wolf was nowhere to be seen. Hmm. I wonder where he suddenly left to, I thought to myself. I then picked up my things and continued on my way to Grandma's house. When I had finally arrived at Grandma's house, I knocked on the door and called out to her, but there was no answer. I pushed open the door and peered inside. The room was dark and quiet. Strange. Grandma never leaves the door unlocked. I shouted into the house really loud. Grandma, it's me, Little Red. Grandma! There was no response. Maybe she's taking a nap, I thought to myself. I made my way to her bedroom, and there I saw Grandma peeping from underneath the covers. Though, her face looked a bit different from how I remembered her. Grandma, what big eyes you have, I exclaimed. The better to see you with, my dear, said Grandma, but she didn't sound like her usual self. Grandma, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear, Grandma replied, now grinning and revealing some very sharp teeth. I started to feel very scared. Grandma's teeth were never this sharp, were they? Grandma, what big teeth you have, I said, now feeling very scared. Right then, I realized this was not my grandma at all. This was the wolf wearing her clothes. The wolf shouted, Well, the better to eat you with, my dear. He jumped out of bed and lunged at me with his big mouth and big sharp teeth. Oh, no! I stuffed my basket of goodies into his mouth and yelled, Chew on this! The wolf began to choke on the food I shoved in his mouth. As he was choking, I ran into the kitchen and grabbed a frying pan and whacked the wolf over the head. As he lay there, I took my grandma's knitting yarn from her basket and tied him up good. I ran outside and just my luck, I saw the old woodsman walking by and called out, Help! Help! We searched the house for grandma and found her tied up in the closet. I helped untie her and grandma said relieved. I'm so happy to see you, my dear. We hugged each other really tight, and then we both ran straight to my house. The experience was really scary, but with a little courage and a little help from the woodsman, everything worked out at the end. I got to spend the rest of the day with my grandma, sharing the yummy cookies and enjoying the pretty flowers I brought her. I learned a very important lesson that day, to be careful of strangers and not to 
to trust them too easily, even if they seem nice and helpful. From then on, I always made sure to be cautious and never wander into the forest.